Hello everyone, about a month ago I made a list called top 10 worst WWE champions ever, it was successful considering it was only my second video. And I want to try and replicate that success whilst entertaining you along the way. While we've had some terrible champions over the years there's also been champions that set the standard for what it means to be a world champion in WWE and I'm going to list them. I'm WrestleMark and this is Top 10 Best WWE Champions Ever. Number 10 Daniel Bryan Daniel Bryan was the definition of underdog in 2013. WWE tried their hardest to bury him which only gained more fan support. This got to the point where Bryan won the WWE Championship from John Cena only to lose it minutes later to Randy Orton starting the Authority storyline. Bryan won the top prize in WWE several times only holding it for a short time due to story or injury. That changed when he turned heel in 2018 beating AJ Styles for the championship and becoming the planet champion acting as an eco-activist character. Bryan put on a great performance as champion and it was ended when he did the honors for Kofi Kingston at WrestleMania 35. Number 9 Hulk Hogan Hogan was the man who made wrestling mainstream in the 1980s holding the WWE Championship for three years at one point. Hogan successfully defended the championship in multiple WrestleMania main events but his backstage politics couldn't keep him away from the gold leading to the worst WrestleMania main event at WrestleMania 9. Hogan returned to the company after the death of WCW winning the championship one more time for a short period which was highly praised by the fans. Number 8 Bruno Sammartino Bruno holds the record for longest WWE Championship reign ever holding it for an astounding 2,803 days, yes this man held on to the gold for 7 years and 3 months. The reason he is so low on this list however is because back then it was rarely defended as to what we used to today. Number 7 Edge Edge is a popular figure in WWE cementing history becoming the first ever Money in the Bank winner. Edge won the gold from John Cena and they had a legendary rivalry which will be told throughout generations. Edge didn't hold the championship for long over his multiple reigns however since this was the time Super Cena was being pushed. Edge was eventually moved to SmackDown winning the World Heavyweight Championship and having fantastic matches with The Undertaker, Jeff Hardy and many more. Again those reigns were short and only really acted as a transitional champion which is unfortunate. Number 6 Brock Lesnar Whether he's the next big thing, the beast incarnate or just a happy farmer, Brock Lesnar has won multiple world championships in all of his runs since 2002 sometimes without breaking a sweat. Lesnar's most memorable run with the gold was when he won the Universal Championship in 2017 holding it for a whole 503 days. During that time he helped build up and coming talents like Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman but towards the end fans were bored of him never defending the belt and Monday Night Raw suffered because of it. Number 5 The Rock Dwayne The Rock Johnson has had his fair share in World Championship runs, whether he was the wise cracking babyface or a corporate shill heel. The Rock always made the then WWF Championship must-see TV when it was over his shoulder. Number 4 CM Punk Colossal Mouth Punk is one of the first people that comes to mind when you think of the WWE Championship. Punk's reigns with the World Heavyweight Championship had promised but never made him main event due to higher powers in the company not liking him. In 2011 however CM Punk won the WWE Championship from John Cena walking out of the company and returning not long after with new music and merch. He had a couple of reigns with the WWE Championship one lasting 434 days but he never made it to that WrestleMania main event he always dreamed of. Number 3 John Cena John Cena is a 16-time world champion in WWE last holding the gold in 2017 for only a few weeks. 
Cena was the man to take over from The Rock and Steve Austin as the top babyface of the company but he gained an ego in the process burying younger talents in his prime years assuring he maintained his top spot in WWE. Number 2 Stone Cold Steve Austin The Rattlesnake is one of, if not the best that WWE has ever had, an anti-authority redneck, Austin would do whatever it took to win the top prize in the WWF. Having to take down the company elites and even turning heel in 2001 because he would do whatever it took to win that illustrious championship. And number 1. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has had a rocky road throughout his career winning the top prizes on multiple occasions when the fans didn't want him in that spot. However in 2020 he returned when the pandemic cooled down turning heel and becoming the tribal chief. He won the Universal Championship at that year's Payback Premium Live event which he still holds to this day amounting to a staggering 916 days and acquiring the WWE Championship to his collection at WrestleMania 38 holding that for 335 days at the time of recording. Becoming more than the modern-day Hulk Hogan, Roman Reigns silenced his critics with profound in-ring work and wonderful character development leading the charge with the biggest and most captivating storyline in recent memory. And that was my top 10 best WWE Champions list, if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe. If you agree or disagree with anything in this list then let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, WrestleMark out.